Hello everyone, I am Lythus and welcome to my very first manga haul video and this is going to be for the month of June 2017 and uh, this is a really 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 large haul and I would not recommend anyone pick up this much manga in one month. I didn't realize how much I had picked up until I got it all out to record this video, so uh, this might be my largest haul that I ever do, and that's probably a good thing if it is, because this is just, this is a lot, this this is like too much, but uh, I am going to be uh, doing this in the order of publisher, and uh, for the most part is going to be alphabetical order of the publisher with one exception, and that is that Viz Media is going to be last, because I have a lot of Viz Media stuff. So, uh, let's start this off with my one and only Dark Horse pickup, and that is Seraphim. 26661333 Wings by uh, Mamoru Oshii and Satoshi Khan. <laughs> and, uh, this... I really, I, I've read most of these, because uh, a lot of them came early in the month, so uh, I have read this one, and uh, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's unfortunate, because uh, this might be a spoiler for some of you, uh, but uh, it doesn't end. Uh, the two uh, came to creative differences midway through its creation. And the manga just kind of stops at some point. But, uh, I still really, really enjoyed it. Uh, let me see if I can show. Yeah, in this release, it sort of gives a uh, little rundown on how the series went and stuff like that. So that's really nice. I really like how Dark Horse did that. Um, uh, but this is a really, really nice series that I would recommend uh, picking up. And now on to my Kodansha releases. I didn't get anything from Kodansha, but uh, I got Volume 3 of Parasite. As I said in my uh, collection video, uh, I had to send this back to Right Stuff because it was damaged, and uh, they sent me a new copy, so there's that. And now we move on to Seven Seas, and you saw this uh, in a video I put out yesterday, um, and that is my lesbian experience with loneliness. Uh, I really enjoyed this. It's a very, very nice take on people dealing with um, uh, sort of like identity and sort of what they want to do with their lives. So uh, I took it out without e with uh, I'll finish talking about it. Um, uh, but yeah, I would I would really recommend this. It's a uh, all-in-one, so it's a $14 price just for this complete story, and I really really enjoyed it, and I would recommend uh, you picking it up. Now on to another. Well, that that one it's marketed as a Yuri, but it's not really. It's more so about. Uh, the interpersonal conflicts of the main character. But on to a Yuri series. I have the second volume of the Kazai-san series, Kazai-san and Bento. And uh, this volume uh, goes into uh, the uh, blonde haired girl's uh, feelings towards uh, this girl a little bit more. And it's uh, pretty funny to see her reactions of all the things that are going on between them. But uh, I would highly recommend this series if you're a Yuri fan. Next up, we have Volumes 2, 3, 4, and 5 of Citrus. And that, that brings me up to date with, I believe, the 6th volume coming out in either... August or September of this year, but I'm not completely sure on that, but uh, anyway, I like Citrus. A lot of people seem to like it. Um, 
it's just it's just kind of neat to see the Yuri between the two girls and their relationship and uh, it's really nice and I decided to show the covers for this one because I think it'll be fine but uh, yeah caught up to date with citrus and last for the seven seas releases this is not actually a manga it is a light novel and that would be the first volume of the Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash light novel series. Now, it says light novel because uh, that's how it's uh, released, but this is a pretty pretty thick book, as I'm sure you can tell. But uh, I really enjoyed the anime for this series, and I hear the light novel is even better, so I'm excited to start reading this. And uh, before the second volume comes out, I really want to have this read so I can pick that up without any fear that I might not enjoy it but uh yeah there's the uh light novel for Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash now I'm excited to uh get into this whenever I do next up we have vertical releases I picked up the uh newest volume of Devil's Line as I said in my collection video, I really, really like this series, and I will pick up every volume that comes out when it comes out. Not, not much else to say. And next up, we have a two-volume series that uh, I thought was pretty good, and that would be Sickness Unto Death, Volume 1, and Sickness Unto Death, Volume 2. And this is, uh, as I said, a two-volume series. It is pretty decent. And it is sort of a psychological sort of thing between uh, the main character dude and this girl. And so if you like sort of psychological stories, this is one I would definitely recommend because, again, it's only two volumes. So it isn't all that expensive to go and pick up like some of the other series, especially one that I will show later. But uh, if you like psychological stories, this is a nice one to pick up, again, because it is only two volumes. So it is not, it is not a very big uh, financial endeavor to pick up Sickness Unto Death. And on to the uh, next series. You've seen this. I gave a spotlight on this because I think this is a fantastic book. And that is Utsubora, the story of a novelist. And if you want my feelings on this, you can go watch that uh, spotlight video. It will be in the link in the description but uh this is a great great story and you really really should read it i absolutely love this the drama is fantastic and the ending is great there's there's not not enough good things that i can say about uh about utsubora so uh pick it up i'm i'm calling out to uh the big tubers as well the big manga tubers, pick this up and review it. I can I can only do so much when I'm so small. This needs more recognition. All right, on to another vertical release, Tropic of the Sea by Satoshi Kon, and uh, I picked it up because uh, the name Satoshi Kon uh, was on Seraphim as well. He's very well known. Uh, I've seen Perfect Blue and Paprika, which are two films he's directed. I've not seen Millennium Actress nor Tokyo Godfathers, but uh, I will watch those at some point. But uh, I was excited to get into it, and I, I don't want to say that it's a bad story, because I don't think it is. I was just, I wasn't blown away by it, and I was a little disappointed, because I was expecting, you know, like a masterpiece or an epic, but uh, it's just kind of okay. It's not bad by any means, and it's a decent story, but uh, yeah, Tropic of the Sea. It's pretty good. Happy I have it. Happy I read it. It's a pretty good story. Not 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 anything amazing though. So uh, nothing special to say about about this. Next up, we have Pink by Kyoko Okazaki, and this is not something that I have read yet. So uh, there's that. Um, I can't open it up because uh because of that right there but uh <laughs> yeah 
I flipped through some of the pages and wow. Now, one unfortunate thing about this is that I'm not sure if you can see it in the video. Focus, focus camera, can you focus? Maybe it will focus. Come on, let's focus. Let me try again. Okay, it doesn't want to focus, but uh, if you can see, the spine is a little bit damaged up up top here towards the uh, towards the title, but uh, that's not much of a big deal for me. It's it's not like it's missing a page or there's anything ripped off, and when it's just sitting on the shelf, that's hardly noticeable, and I won't notice it when I'm reading it. So I don't think I'm gonna return it, but uh, I'm excited to get into this because I hear. Uh, this is better than Helter Skelter, and I really like that, so it's by the same author. So, uh, I'm ready to get into this. I'll be reading it very soon. There might be a review or a spotlight coming out if I like it enough, so uh, you might be seeing more of this in the future. Anyway, moving on to my last vertical release, and that would be in clothes called Fat by Mayoko Ano, who is the wife of Hideki Ano, who was a director of a lot of famous uh, anime productions. But uh, also, I have not read this, and again, I cannot open it up because uh, right there. Um, but uh, again, I'm excited to get into this. I hear this is a really, really good series, and one that is on the... Uh, depressing end of the spectrum so uh i will be getting into this and like pink you might see a review or a spotlight in the future for this uh book and that will do it for my vertical titles now to move on to yen press i have a fair amount of yen press titles although they're uh there's only three series uh represented here but uh i went ahead and picked up the second volume of kisses and White Lily for my dearest girl, and uh, this has a uh, this volume has put this series in a new light for me because uh, while the first volume was just kind of okay or meh, I really, really, really enjoyed this volume. So I will definitely be picking up volume three when that comes out. I believe August twenty second, twenty seventeen. Um, but uh, yeah, I will be picking up volume three when that comes out. Uh. And this is, if you didn't know, this is a Yuri title. Lots and lots of girls in love with each other. And this volume was a lot better than volume one. So, uh, yeah. Alright, sorry for the cut there, guys. I uh, bumped my camera and uh, it fell over and uh, bad things happened. So uh, we're just going to pick up from uh, where I left off with Kisses, White Lily, Kisses and White Lily from My Dearest Girl with uh, volume, with uh, what I got. And I got volumes 1, 2, Let's see if I can get this all into the, uh, into the camera, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, and ten of Bunny Drop. And uh, that brings me to the completion of the, uh, of the series. As you can see, number ten says final. And I have read up through volume eight. So I just have volumes nine and ten to read. But uh, I, I've really, really enjoyed this series. Um starting there there's sort of two parts to it volumes one through four is when uh this girl Rin is uh little and in elementary school kindergarten and then volumes five on she is uh in high school and something you should know about this series before you uh before you start um this is technically a spoiler but uh if you don't know this um it It'll impact your enjoyment of the series, and uh, that is the fact that this girl, Rin, right here, she has an Electra complex. So, uh, if that is something that uh, does not interest you, you probably won't like this because of uh, because of that uh, of that fact. But uh, 
it doesn't bother me. I've really been enjoying this series, and I think it is, uh, it's really, really, really good. And I don't think I've seen it in anyone else's collection, and that might be because of that fact, but, uh, I've, I've been enjoying it so far, but, uh, that's enough of Bunny Drop, or Usagi Drop, if you prefer the, uh, Japanese title. And moving on to my final Yen Press, uh, Yen Press series. And uh, I said in my collection video that I would not be getting any more of this, uh, of this title. Or, well, not, not any more, but I would be picking it up sparingly, and that is because they're expensive. But, uh, there was a Yen Press sale on Right Stuff, and I said, you know what? I'm never gonna get this series for a cheaper price, so I might as well pick it up now. And so I have volumes... Four, five, six, seven, and eight of A Bride's Story. And I haven't read any of these because this got here very recently. But uh, this brings me up to date with the series uh, Volume 9 coming out in September. And, uh... Again, this is a series with some of the greatest artwork you will ever see. Uh, Kaoru Mori is a fantastic mangaka, but uh, I'm excited to uh, get into these volumes, and uh, I really do recommend this series. The only negative is that uh, $17 price point, but uh, they're hardcovers. It's unfortunate that they have dust jackets instead of the uh, the cover just pr the uh, image I want image, I guess, printed straight onto the cover, but, uh, that's not a big deal. The dust jackets aren't that bad, but, uh, yeah, that will do it for, uh, my Yen Press releases, and now moving on to, uh, Big Boy Viz with all of their stuff, which is a lot. Viz releases a lot of stuff, and I have a lot of their stuff, but, uh, I'm gonna start off with my, uh, Shonen Jump pickups, and to start off with, I have volumes... Let me see if I can get this in here in a good order. Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4 of Seraph of the End. And I have seen the anime for this series. I haven't read any of these volumes yet, but uh, I enjoyed the anime to a degree. It's not fantastic but it's not bad by any means uh it's pretty good it was enjoyable to watch so i'm excited to get into the manga which i believe goes on past the anime but uh surf of the end volumes one through four and now next up we have another new series or a new pickup for me and that would be world trigger volumes one two three, and four. And, uh, again, I haven't read any of these volumes so far, but, uh, I saw the, a little bit of the anime when it was, uh, when it came out, and it seemed like something that, uh, that I would enjoy, to, at least. Um, uh, let me know what you guys think of World Trigger, because, uh, I've heard, uh, mixed feelings about it, uh, especially de dealing with this, this character, which is certainly a concern of mine, but, uh, I am excited to, uh, get into the manga version of the story, because the anime deviates somewhere. I can't remember where, but, uh, the anime and the manga versions are not the, uh, are not the same. But, uh, anyway, World Trigger Volumes 1 through 4, I am excited to get into, uh, this series. Oh, there are the spines. I'm gonna go ahead and real quickly show the spines for Seraph of the End. Because I don't think I did that initially, but, uh, there they are. They look really nice. And moving on to my last Shonen Jump pickup, and that would be volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, if I can get it in here. You know what? I'm just putting it in front. Oh no, that's off-center, that is gonna bother me. Uh, there we go. More centered. Okay, vo volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of Seventh Garden. That brings me up to date with the, uh, with the re releases for this series. And I have read volumes 1 through 4 
I have not read Volume 5 yet, and Volume 5 is where the series uh, changes from an older teen Viz rating to a mature uh, rating, so not sure what's going on in this volume, but uh, probably going to get darker. And I don't, I don't know how this happens. This is a shonen, this is a shonen jump series. This is a shonen series. Why, why is there a a mature tag on here? But uh, anyway, N Nana does the same thing. Uh, Nana, back there, it does the same thing on volume eight. It switches from uh, older teen to mature. But uh, and that's a shojo. I don't know why. Like it seems like a miscategory. Like these have been uh, in the wrong type of magazine because uh, that's kind of odd considering that Shonen is, you know, boys series, not for like mature, well, I don't want to say not for mature audiences, but like the target demographic is teenagers. And uh, so that's kind of an interesting little thing that happens. So maybe it gets really, really dark and that's why, but uh, that is Seventh Garden. I've been enjoying this. Um, forewarning, there is some etchy, and especially in volume four, there's towards the end, there's a certain segment or scene sort of uh, several scenes that are, uh, if you're not a fan of etchy, they may turn you off from the series completely. Um, just a just a forewarning. Sorry for the cut again, guys. Uh, I dropped the book, and uh, it took me too long to uh, get it back, so I cut that part out. But uh, anyway, we are going to be moving on from my Shonen Jump title to my Shoujo Beat uh, title pickups for uh, this month. And first off, we have Volume 1 of The Water Dragon's Bride. Volume 2 comes out in like a week or so, at like the first week, July 2017. But... Uh, this is a... I'm excited to see where this goes, but what I'm probably going to do is wait till volume... the rest of the volumes come out, and then binge read it, because uh, this... I read volume one, this volume right here, and uh, this seems like a series I'm going to want to binge read. Um, I just kind of have that feeling that that's what I'm going to want to do with this series. But uh, don't let the, uh, the cutesy cover fool you. It's uh, pretty dark in its subject matter, so uh, I would, uh, since I've only read the first volume, I tentatively recommend it, but uh, it does appear as if it is going to be uh, a really good series uh, by Ray Toma, who wrote uh, Dawn of the Arcana. And uh, on to my next pickup, we have volume four of Ore Sama Teacher. I am picking uh, this series up rather slowly. Um, not because it's bad, but because I have so many other series that I want to read, and this has just kind of fallen onto the, uh, the back burner. But, uh, I do enjoy this series. Uh, if you're unsure on what type of shoujo manga you would like to, uh, like to read, this is a really good one to, uh, start off with, because it has s some similar, uh, antics to sh some shonen series. The comedy is, uh kind of similar to shonen comedy and uh yeah so if you're thinking of getting into shoujo this is one i would recommend you picking up on to my next pickup we have volume number two of skip beat and like ore sama teacher this series has also fallen on the back burner for me not because it's bad but because uh there are so many other series that i want to uh want to read and skip beat is up to I believe volume number 39 <laughs> is uh, on pre-order for English, so it'll be a long time before I get all of Skip Beat, and it also takes a while to read a single volume, um, so it'll be a while before I complete this series, but uh, I'm reading it one volume at a time. And moving on to a new series pickup for me, I have volumes 1. Two, three, four, five, and six of Voice Over Seiyu Academy. And I have read all of these, all six volumes. Um, this is a 12-volume series. 
I will get the remaining volumes either next month or the following month. But uh, I've been enjoying this series so far. It's not a standout series, but it's pretty funny and the concept's interesting. Um, uh, but you don't really get the gimmick of the series until volume 2. So I'm not going to spoil that for you here. But uh, I enjoy this series. Um, it's not amazing, but uh, it's enjoyable. So uh, that'll be that for this series. Moving on to uh, more pickups. We have volumes. Let me see if I can get this easily here. Volumes 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 of Dawn of the Arcana, and that is complete. I have, since getting these volumes, read the whole series, and uh, it's like, a, it's a really nice series up through volume 12, and then volume 13 makes it really, really, really good. Ray Toma did a nice job with this 13th volume, making the series uh, a lot better than it otherwise would have been with sort of the... Uh, the realizations, the announcements, sort of, like, who is who and who people really are. And, uh, just a really, really solid series that I would definitely recommend. Um, very, very nice. And it's also really, really quick to read through, so... The, uh, dialogue bubbles, there, uh, aren't, isn't much dialogue in them for the most part, so you can get through a volume very quickly. Volume 6 fell on the floor, but, uh, it's gonna be there for the remainder of the video, because I'm not going to fetch it right now. I've done too many cuts, but, uh, anyway. Next up, I have volumes, or, well, volume 3 and 1's 2, 3, and 4 of Hanakimi. And this brings me to, uh, the halfway point for this series, um... I made the mistake of buying all three of these at once, and when you do that, you have nine volumes to read. That's a lot, so it, w it was intimidating every time I look at my shelf and I'm like, I have nine volumes of this series to read. Oh man, this is going to take a long time. But uh, I have since read all three of these, and I will <laughs> no longer pick up three three and ones at one time. It'll be uh, one at a time from now on, because one series for nine straight volumes, and this isn't, like, super short, like Dawn of the Arcana. Like, this takes a decent amount of time to read a volume, and there's nine of them when you have three. So, yeah. I will be picking these up not nearly in high of density as I uh, did for this, but uh, a good series nonetheless, one I enjoy. And uh, not sure if I would recommend it to everyone, but uh that that uh that decision will come when I inevitably finish this series probably within definitely before the end of the year. Don't know anything else besides that, but uh I will have all the volumes by the end of the year cuz I only have four more to uh to get. But uh anyway, that is Hanakimi and that will also do it for uh my Shoujo Beat releases. And now moving on, uh, well, I'm gonna say we're moving on right now to my Viz Signature releases, but, uh, before we do that, I picked up Volume 1 of After Hours, which is a new Yuri series that Viz Media is releasing, which, uh, they've not done Yuri before, but, uh, here's a nice series for them. And, uh, what's really nice about this series is that the characters are in their 20s, and, uh, it's... It has a lot of potential for a Yuri series, and so I'm really, really excited to see if it uses that potential. Um, if you're a Yuri fan, definitely pick this up, because uh, I think this is this is one of the more promising new titles to uh, come out in the Yuri sphere. But uh, 
I'm really happy to have this. I will definitely be picking up Volume 2 whenever it comes out, and I am excited to see where this series goes. And, uh, now to actually get into my uh, Viz Signature releases, and you saw this in the this series and a couple others in here you saw from the uh, manga quality si uh, Viz Signature uh, review. But uh, this first one is All My Darling Daughters, which is a single volume series by Fumi Yoshinaga. Uh, it's decent. Uh, if you like shoujo, I would recommend it. If you like Jose, I would recommend it. Um, the plot lines are very interesting for the most part. A couple of them are kind of eh, but uh, a very good series nonetheless. Um, they're, the way it's sort of broken up is it deals with uh, the same sort of circle of friends and relationships, but uh, each story is sort of about a different person and their experiences and stuff like that, so it's, it's really nice. I, I enjoyed this. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10, as I said in my, uh, in my quality review. But uh, yeah, if you like Shoujo or Jose, pick this up. It's a single volume series, so you only have to pay one thirteen dollars and then you have the whole series. So, cheap to own, and a definitely nice series to have. Moving on, we have, this is a lot, uh, we have volumes 1. Two, three, we're not having any more volumes fall today. Four, five, six, seven, and eight of Doro Hidoro. And I have read volumes one and two. Volume 1, I was kind of like, this is pretty good, I'm not sure if I want to get more, and then I read Volume 2, and I was like, I need more. I need to know all of the things about this series. But, uh, I got Volumes 3 through 8 yesterday, so that's why I haven't read them, but, uh, these are on high priority for me to read. And, uh, ooh, I'll show the spines as well. The spines are really nice. But, uh, this series, um, if you don't know, the author, Q Hayashida, uh, she was, I believe, an assistant for Tsutomu Nihei, who was the guy that did uh, Blame or Blam or whatever it's called, uh, Biomega, Knights of Sidonia. And uh, so she was his assistant. And uh, she has gone and done this series. The artwork is really, really nice. And uh, if you're squeamish, you might not like certain things because there is definitely some gore in this series. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna take uh, volume 8 out here and just show you, uh, let me see if I can find the, uh, the tag. Where is the tag? Show me tag, there it is, okay. Let's see if I can show this. Now, these tags are different for every series, but uh, if it'll focus there. Dora Hodoro is rated M for Mature and is recommended for ages 18 and up. Contains graphic violence, disturbing imagery, full frontal nudity, alcohol and drug use, smoking, and strong language. That is a lot of stuff in that bubble. Normally it doesn't have that much, but uh, this series has everything in the kitchen sink in it. Um, so uh, be wary of that. <laughs> um, it is quite violent. Uh, lots of language. Lots of gore. Uh, nudity. Yeah, ev everything on that label is accurate. Um, so, not uh, not for everyone, but uh, I really, really need to know what's going on in this series. And the spines, they're so colorful. They're pretty, and they're, they're gorgeous. Well, not gorgeous. They're pretty, and they're sparkly, and I like them. Spines look really good. But uh, that's enough of Dora Hidoro. Moving on to another Viz signature release we have. Golden Kamui Volume 1, which just came out, and uh, this is a very promising series as well. Um, I will definitely picking, be picking up Volume 2 whenever it comes out, but uh, it's about this guy named uh, Immortal Sugimoto, and a little, oh, she's not on the cover, a little Ainu girl, and if you don't know who the Ainu people are, they are the people who... Uh, inhabited Hokkaido before Japan sort of invaded them and took their land from them. But, uh, 
yeah, I'm I'm excited to see where this series goes. I will definitely be picking up Volume 2. It is a very well-written series. Something I would definitely recommend picking up. But uh, that is Golden Kamui. Moving on to uh, some continuing pickups. We have Volumes 9, 10, 11, and 12 for Tokyo Ghoul. And I will, this, I am almost up to date, volume 13 is out and I don't have that, but uh, I'm going to wait till volume 14 comes out to pick up volume 13, and then I'm going to binge read the entire series. And uh, after that, Tokyo Ghoul Re comes out, and I'm very excited. This is a series I, I'm very excited to get into because I, I know I will like it, and I know it's very, very good, so... Really excited. Can't wait for volume 14 to come out so I can uh, binge read the whole thing. But uh, you guys know what Tokyo Ghoul is. Everyone knows what Tokyo Ghoul is. So, not much to say about that. But, uh, on to uh, another Viz Sig release. We have volumes 1, 2, 3. Stay up, do not fall. Four, five, and six of Biomega, and that is complete. And I've read volumes one and two, got volumes three through six yesterday. And this has very little dialogue, uh, which is pretty standard for Tsutomu Nihei. And I thought it was pretty good. Gonna read volumes three through six. Won't take me that long to do that, because again, there's not much dialogue. And you notice on some of these, I'm not sure if it'll pick up in the, uh, in the video, but, uh, oh, there it is. It's shiny. Okay, so some of these volumes, uh, the number, the logo, or not the logo, the title, and the, uh, the author, Tsutomu Nihei, they shine and they glow and it looks really nice, and that is also true on the spine right here and here and there. Unfortunately, though, not all of them do, and I believe only first edition prints glow, because this one, there's no embossing, it doesn't shine, so, uh, if you want it to glow, you need a first edition print, I'm pretty sure, which is unfortunate, I don't know why Viz didn't decide to just do that from the beginning, but, uh, that's unfortunate, but, uh, if you want to know whether or not your, uh, volume is a first edition print, I'm going to go ahead, give you a very quick rundown on how this works. So, if you see right here, you see these numbers, 10 to 1. Uh, whatever number is the lowest and appearing is the print number of the book. Sometimes it goes from left to right. Sometimes it starts with the biggest number in the center, and on the left and right it flip-flops going uh, decrementing. But uh, this one is a first printing because there's a 1 right there. Um, if you're ever curious what print number your book is, look for those numbers and that will tell you. But, uh, ooh, also there's one more thing I want to show you about this. Because it is hilarious. And that is the M for Mature rating. Little text box right here. Biomega is rated M for Mature and is recommended for mature zombies. This volume contains motorcycle violence, mind-blowing cinematic stunts, and extreme grizzly bear. Viz, you're amazing. That is fantastic. I love that. First time I saw that, I laughed out loud. It was hilarious. They, they did a nice job. The only negative, only first edition prints have the uh, shiny, glossy sort of text and label, which looks so cool. The only one that, like, super matters is Volume 6, because Volume 6, when it's shiny, looks amazing. The other ones just kind of look cool, but uh, if you can get Volume 6 first print, do so, because it looks great. And, uh, I have volumes 3, 4, and 6. First prints, uh, 1, 2, and 5 are not. So, if I can manage to find first prints for 1, 2, and 5, I will be doing so, so I can get the, uh, the shiny sort of glossy text on the covers. But, uh, if I can't, oh well, it's not that big of a deal. But, uh, yeah, I would really like to get the, uh, 
the shiny shiny covers because that would be that would be cool I, I caught volume it was about to fall I caught it no more no more falling volumes today no 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 but uh that's it for by Omega and now moving on to the final pickup of the month last but not least and I gotta make it quick because my camera's running out of space good night pun pun one good night pun pun two Good night, Pun Pun. Three. Four. Five. And. Six. And that complete. Well, it doesn't complete. I am up to date with Good Night, Pun Pun. That is all of the uh, omnibuses uh, that are out right now, waiting for Volume 7, which is a single volume series. Thank you, Right Stuff, for your Viz Media sale. I am so happy that you did that, because now I am up to date with Goodnight Pun Pun with only one more volume left to purchase, and these volumes are really nice quality. Goodnight Pun Pun, of course, by Ennio Asano, one of my, if not my favorite mangaka uh, currently, and you'll notice I'm talking fast because I have like two minutes left on my battery, um, but uh, Yes, I hear this is one of the greatest series ever written, and I am very, very, very excited to get into it. I am going to wait to get Volume 7, and then I'm going to binge read this entire series. But that will finally do it for my June 2017 manga haul. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you have any series you would like me to pick up, leave them down below, and I will check that out. But uh, anyway... That will be all for this 2017 June manga haul for me, Lythus, my first ever manga haul. Thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, like and share. Sharing really, really helps, uh, considering I'm a small channel. Getting my name out there is really big. And then if you want to stay up to date with all of my content, you can hit that subscribe button. But anyway, I am Lythus. Goodbye. Fooled by the cover? Oh, dear. Okay. That didn't go well. I'm just going to keep this in the recording as I search for the volume down there. Never mind. It's not getting back. We're cutting this.